So we have two different types of templates. We can go into the more template menu and you'll see ones that are created by Slack. So no matter what plan you have, you will have the ability to see the ones that have been created by Slack. Ones like employee onboarding or a sales enablement hub, event planning. And if you wanted to use it, what you could do is click on use template and then all of that sample text gets replaced and you can easily have these placeholder zones that you can click on this and let's say Jack Gibbs and I'll replace this and have these profile cards. You can also create a workflow to easily join channels. So if I wanted to join all sales channels, I can type that here. And anybody who clicks on this button for this workflow will then automatically be added to that channel. You can have links, etc. So this is a template that's being used and this is a Slack centric one. And next I'll talk about setting up a custom template if you're on grid. Hey everyone, my name is Maya Holokati. I'm gonna quickly walk you through the basics of Canvas custom templates. Um, this is a two part video series. So my coworker, Melissa, will actually walk you through some more advanced features or Canvas variables. So imagine I was some kind of sales ops leader and I've noticed that different sales reps are submitting different executive briefing docs uh, to request an executive to attend their customer call. This whole process is getting a little bit messy and I just kind of want to standardize the whole thing. So what I've, got, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created an executive briefing document. Um, here there's some meeting details, objectives and opportunities and I want all my reps to fill this document out. So all the content and formatting is the same for all the execs. Um, what I actually want to do is you know, standardize this whole process by making it a template. So I'm going to click the three dots, hit convert to a template. And now this canvas here is actually a template uh, denoted by this template tag. If I accidentally made a mistake, I can go ahead and revert it back as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share it in a channel, SFDC demo. And I will say, please use this template to submit executive briefing requests. Let's go ahead and share it in the channel. And you can tell that this has been shared in the channel by this template. If I open up this template, I can actually go ahead and click on use template and it will create a copy of it right here. So we don't have analytics available right now, but in the future, you can actually track how many times this template has been used, where it originated from and all these other details that will really help you measure the impact of your business process. All right, and now if I'm ever confused or I don't know where to find this template anymore, I can actually go to the Canvas browser, click on more templates, and this right here will populate my entire template gallery. Um, so you can see that this is the template that I just created it, created executive briefing. Um, you can also see all these templates that have been shared with me in other channels, or I can go ahead and browse templates created by Slack if you're ever curious on other ways to use Canvas.